can we be real here and have this discussion? Because I had to have this discussion with myself one day. And I found myself blaming everybody else, blaming the way I grew up, blaming my culture, blaming society, blaming everyone around me, except for looking at myself. Sometimes you haven't achieved those goals that you have set or the things that you have imagined because of you, not because of anybody else. Sometimes it's just you. And we have to take a step back. Well, I had to take a step back and see that I was holding myself back. Yes, there were obstacles in my way, but ultimately I was holding myself back because I was scared and I have been operating in fear for most of my life. So I would have these dreams that I thought were impossible because I was too scared to actually do the work to get to where I wanna be. And instead of me actually, you know, taking steps towards this goal, I would lessen my goal or lessen myself because I knew it was safe. And sometimes being safe, most of the time being safe does not allow you to achieve those extraordinary goals because we're holding ourselves back from all the potential that we know that we have. And once you get to that point of realizing and accepting that sometimes it is you holding yourself back, then setting and achieving goals becomes a little less scary. So let's stop lessening ourselves or dwindling our, dwindling our light and let's start setting these high goals and high expectations for ourselves because we deserve it. We deserve a life that we want to live, not a life that we are supposed to live, a safe life. Sometimes a safe life is not a happy life. And for those that are okay with the safe life, then that's okay, that's fine. That, that means that you're, you've achieved the goal that you wanted. But for people like me, where I have, I will always dream about a different life than the life that I grew up living. I know now that I have to dream big. Like I have to dream really big and not be afraid to achieve those goals. Please do not be afraid of your success because success can be a scary thing. Putting yourself out there can be a scary thing because you will fall, but you're gonna get right back up and you're gonna learn from those mistakes and you're gonna push forward just like you push forward with everything else. And setting safe goals will only keep you in a box. And if you want to live this life that you've always dreamed of, that means you have to live outside of this box. You have to do things that people may think you're crazy about doing. You have to put yourself out there and put yourself first. And it's hard. I'm telling you it's hard because I am in the midst of that now. And every day it's a struggle for me to take one step at a time just to go forward and keep on doing the things that I know will lead, lead to my success, lead to the life that I've always dreamed of. So make sure you are not getting in your own way because sometimes it's just you, just you operating in fear. Fear can stop you from doing so much. So if you want to try something new, make sure you go and you try something new. And just know that you don't achieve a goal overnight. Just think about those small steps that you have to take every day to achieve those goals because nobody is successful overnight. And don't think that it has to be, it doesn't have to be anything to do with money. Whatever your goal is, make sure that you are taking small steps every day towards those goals. No matter what anybody says, you do things in a way that will work for you. If it's, you know, doing something really small every day, that works. It doesn't have to be anything big, but as long as you are working towards those goals and those things are getting done in the way that you want it, then you can be 
happy about those small achievements that would later lead to those big achievements. So in this season of my life, I am learning to really sit back and think as to why I am putting my goals lower than what they should be, or what I envision. Is it me being scared or is it really something that I don't want to do? And make sure that you know that you can always change your mind. Like, don't let anybody tell you that you have to stick with one thing forever. We are a ever evolving people and it's okay to change. Okay, maybe today you wanted to be a blogger, you tried it out and it didn't work, but guess what? You did try, you found out that it wasn't for you as opposed to you never trying it and always thinking about what if I tried that? You keep trying until something sticks. It doesn't hurt to try. We are on this earth to experience life. We don't want life to happen to us. We are supposed to be experiencing life. We are supposed to be the ones going out there and getting all that life has to offer. Do not be scared to put yourself out there and you could do it. This is me like saying every day, I am choosing to live life. I'm choosing to operate in joy. I'm choosing to try something new. I'm choosing myself and I want all of you to choose yourself because you are worth it, you are important and you deserve happiness. Make sure you're setting those goals. Even if you have to write it down, that works for me, I write everything down. Sometimes it's hard for you to keep things in your mind because then you can't physically see it. So do whatever it works for you to make sure that you are no longer operating in fear and you are getting out of your own way because you deserve it. I feel like I went on a preaching type of thing. <laughs> but I felt like this was something that I had to make because I am going through this now. Like this is something that I am consciously dealing with and I'm consciously telling myself every day that I deserve this life and I deserve to live a life of happiness and I will not allow my fear to stop me from living the life that I've always dreamed of. And I don't want you guys to just settle on life because you are scared of trying something new and you're scared of getting out of your comfort zone. I hope I didn't get too preachy, but yeah, <laughs> that was my rant for today. So make sure that you are putting yourself first and don't let fear stop you from doing what you need to do for you and you are living life the way you're supposed to live. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.